Boy, there's a familiar sight. We've had lots of this in the past month or so. Rain. Rain affects fishing. We know that, but how does it affect it? We went down fishing last Saturday off South Haven and Don Nichols' big party boat for perch. They've just been clobbering the perch down there. But how is it going to be in the rain? Well, we set off in the rain, and you might be surprised at the ending. We had a great time. Great people. We're going to take you perch fishing, so stay tuned. I'm Fred Trost. It's Thursday night. Time for Michigan Outdoors. From forest lies encased in Arctic cold The wind might whisper through the trees Listen if you can It tells you of the beauty in the state of Michigan I've often said you should never cancel a hunting or fishing trip because of a weather forecast. Well, here we are in South Haven. Last Saturday, this trip had been planned for months. We had 50 people who came from all over the state to fish with us on the Captain Nichols party boat. And it was raining cats and dogs. Well, should we cancel? No way. We're going fishing anyhow. We came here to fish. We want to have a good time on the water, and a little rain is not going to stop us. Looking at the sky, we really didn't know how long it would last, but we had determination. And one of our guests is Dan Behrens from Lansing, a member of our Outdoors Forever group. He's got determination, too. He's going to stay in hunting and fishing after an unfortunate motorcycle accident several years ago that broke his back. A little help lifting his wheelchair aboard, he could fish with the rest of us. The Captain Nichols is the name of the 65-foot party boat that specializes in perch fishing off South Haven. There's plenty of room for families and everyone to fish all around the boat. Hey, but look, where's the rain? I kid you not, within 15 minutes, the rain had stopped, the sun broke through the clouds, we could peel our rain gear, and the afternoon took on a whole different look. The wind even laid down, and following our lead, some of the smaller boats began venturing out of the harbor, too. Now, there's a full-size galley aboard with hamburgers, hot dogs, soft drinks, and beer, so this trip couldn't have been a washout, even in the rain. Captain Don Nichols pulled over a rock pile fairly close to shore. We anchored and began fishing. Now, everything looked fine, except the fish. We ended up moving the boat a number of times to different rock piles because action was... Well, if I said slow, that would be putting it optimistically. Right after a front moves through, the fishing always slows down for a half day or so, and that's what happened. Captain Nichols was a little concerned, and our cameraman, Rick Little, didn't find many perch for the cameras either. <laughs> it, it's been a tough day, let me tell you. Real tough. Well, why has it been so tough? The sun's out now. I know. This is uh, it's this morning with all the rain and the thunderstorms and everything. We did very well with the fish. Now we have the weather, no fish. It'll probably turn on here a little later on, hopefully. But that's common, isn't it, that after a storm, a front moves through for, for at least a few hours, maybe 12 hours or more, uh, the fishing shuts off? Absolutely. It's, it never fails. In fact, prior to the storm and usually doing, it's some of the best fishing you've ever seen, especially with perch. Uh, this is what catches a lot of these little boats out here in bad weather. But after it's gone through and everything settles out, it, it'll take a while for them to turn on, especially a thunderstorm. But you know, a boat like this, if one person catches a fish, about 25 people get to watch it. And there's all kinds of cheering. And, you know. <laughs> well, there definitely is a lot of cheering if you've been out here for an hour or two with nothing. But uh, and that's, that's what happened there, yes, yes. But we've got the skunk broke, and uh, it's been two years, you know, since that's happened. And I think we'll do all right. It's just going to take a little time here. But you do have on perch a pretty good record. you got a lot of people fishing. Well, we got a lot of fish, too, now, and, and uh, we've learned so much because of some of the lean years. And when I say lean, it's not necessarily the perch as much as it's the weather here. Uh, they're in and out. We've fished as deep as 70 foot now and produced. Been right into four feet of water. And, you know, I fished salmon for seven years, and I thought perch was going to be duck soup, and I still don't have a real good theory on them. They're, they're very wary. Uh, water temperature seems to play a big part. Well, I, what, what kind of people come out on a party boat? The everyday person. The person uh, who I just I enjoy this tremendously because it's the working crowd, it's uh, the kids, uh, the grandmas and the grandson, uh, father and son type teams, and when you're fishing this style, each person's got the rod in his hand, and it's their own little game. And I just really enjoy it. I love the people. Do you ever have people who get off the boat who are disappointed? Yes, but they seem to go through life disappointed. Uh, you can spot them. <laughs> yeah, uh, there, there are some people that are just never happy. But n most of the time, no. Uh, they enjoy it even on some slow days when the fishing isn't that good. 
they have a good time. They, they make uh, the outing worthwhile, mm -hmm. regardless. Hooking and playing one. As soon as you feel it strike, you sock it to them? Yeah. Uh, you don't have to jerk it real hard. Just get it hooked good and uh, keep them coming. Uh, I notice some people, they'll kind of pump the rod or something. If the water's warm and the fish is very active, he'll wiggle right off. In fact, we'll wiggle off as soon as they get out of the water. But uh, just keep them coming and up over the rail. These people that leave it hang out there and admire it for a while, <laughs> we lose some nice fish that way. But it's, it's exciting. I mean, we're excited every time a fish comes out of the water. Well, the morning trip, the anglers caught about 600 perch, and this afternoon trip you're seeing, you saw just about every perch that was brought aboard. But I can't imagine any group of anglers who had more fun than we did. I tell you, it was great. Are you done? Sure. Hey, how'd you like it today? I had a lot of fun. But you, you didn't catch any fish. You, you were just like me. I had a couple strikes. Yeah? Yeah. Well, how can you have fun going fishing and not catching fish? Well, it started out rainy, turned out to be a beautiful day. A lot of good people. It was, uh, the sun was shining. I had a good time. How'd you do? Wonderful. Caught a fish, did you? Did you? Yeah, but, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I got to watch all the rest of the people catch the fish. It was just as exciting. That is a fun part, yep. isn't it? Yep. I kind of enjoy that. Obviously, that's what you and I got the most thrill out of. Oh, I got the most thrill just uh, being on the boat and enjoying the time. That's all it was. It was really fine. It was. Those are the <laughs> fillets which you got today. I'll enjoy them. I'll enjoy them. Well, how was the trip? Great. I enjoyed it. Nice boat ride? Yeah, a great boat ride. A lot of optimism about the fish that we could have caught. Yeah. And we'll get next time. Yeah, we can go around and have, make up all those stories about the ones that got away, too. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> What was it, bum out of a fishing trip? No, it was a lot of fun. The fish could have taken my line a few more times, but it was a lot of fun. What was fun about it if you didn't catch fish? Oh, just the trip in itself. I enjoyed the people and the company. Definitely. Good people. So that's what it's all about, That's huh? what it's all about. But did you enjoy it, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had a blast. I mean, you know, the, the captain and everybody feels kind of bad, and I feel kind of bad we didn't catch more fish. No, it was great. It was I've, fun. I've, yeah, I've never been to a winning Tiger game. Haven't you? No. Every time I go to Tiger Stadium, they lose. Well, why do you keep going back? Because I like the Tigers. Do you? Yeah. Would you come back perch fishing again? Yes. We had a real good time. Sort of like going to the Tigers, huh? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, how slow was it? Nobody better to ask than here's Johnny. This right here on the boat. We don't want to, you know, bug him and bother him. The crowds often gather around him. But we do want to talk to him a little bit. It isn't very often you get to see a celebrity like this out fishing. But Johnny? Johnny? Um, you don't mind if I talk to you a second, do you? Just no, go ahead, Fred. Well, what a nightmare. We tell Johnny Carson about the hot fishing off South Haven. He says, how hot was it? Well, we told him it's the hottest you can get after a cold front. He said, may your neighbor's pet yak perch on your bait bucket. Well, it wasn't the fish. It was the people, as usual, who made this trip fun in Michigan outdoors.